Dude, even if that did exist, I would not watch it. So, no. It's real! <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Beck, and I'll be a YouTuber for the next handful of minutes. If you wouldn't mind chucking us a like and offering us a subscribe, that would be duly appreciated. So today, seeing as Christmas is going to be tomorrow from when I upload this video, I decided we'd do another Buzzfeed quizzes video. I figured we'd do a Christmas special. Is this Hallmark movie real or something I totally made up? A Rose for Christmas. Andy is a passionate artist whose family has been building rose parade floats for generations. When her- oh, Andy- oh, Andy's a girl, sorry. When her dad gets sick, Andy is forced to take the helm and supervise the construction and decoration of their client's float. And to make matters worse, she's saddled with the extra challenge of dealing with a demanding businessman whose company commissioned the float. God. Right, well, her life sounds great. Um, <laughs> obviously, what a lovely sounding movie. Um, you know what? I think, I think it might be. A very merry mix-up. A woman sets out to meet her fiancé's family at Christmas and winds up at the wrong house. Once the mistake is corrected, she realises that her bond with the wrong family and their illegible son was stronger than her, than her bond with the right one. I swear I've read a story that somehow happened like this. Um, by the title, I sort of feel like it's not legit. A very merry mix-up, that just sounds too, like, fake. Oh my god, it's real? Ah, oh, that's cute. The Northern Lights Christmas Miracle. I think this one might be right. That like, exist. Ever since she was a little girl, Julia has had one wish. To see the Northern Lights in person alongside someone she loves. When travelling into the city on Christmas Eve, her car breaks down just outside a roadside diner and the handsome young truck driver who keeps her company might just be exactly what she's looking for. I don't know, the title sounds like a movie that does exist, unless I'm just like going crazy. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's real. It's not the Nutcracker Queen. In the town of Manger, or is it Mange? It depends if you're French or not. The annual I think it might be Man Manger, because you know, like baby Jesus in a manger. Um, the annual Christmas performance of the Nutcracker Ballet is the highlight of the season. For one audience member, the night turns out to be a bit more than magical, a bit more magical than she expected. When the charming Nutcracker invites her on stage to finish the performance. <laughs> you know, I really wouldn't be surprised if this one existed, but I'm gonna say no. Fur crazy. Busy career woman Elise McReynolds has no time nor desire to take part in Christmas festivities. However, a few twists of fate land Elise in the middle of her worst nightmare. Unemployed, nearly single, and running her family's Christmas tree lot for the dreaded holiday season. That's gonna be my future. You know, I, I feel like it will be. Shopping for love. Denise has never really been into Christmas, but when tragedy strikes, she discovers that a charming cashier and a little retail therapy are exactly what she needs to get through the holiday. Nah, nah, nah. Ice sculpture Christmas. This Christmas, a young woman down on her luck is roped into an ice sculpture contest with a wealthy partner who has no idea what he's doing. As she teaches him how to sculpt, he helps her see that she has the talent to fulfill her dreams. Dude, even if that did exist, I would not watch it, so no. It's real! The Holiday Donkey, Clarice, I think, a former show jumping champion, spends most of her time nowadays working on the local ranch. But when Alistair, the resident donkey, falls ill the night before the big Christmas pageant, it's up to Clarice to use her knowledge of horses to save the donkey and save the show. I don't know. Yeah? I guess. I was gonna say, what does a donkey have to do with a pageant? A Christmas kiss too, at a Christmas event. Jenna shares an impromptu, unforgettable kiss with the dashing billionaire, Cooper Montgomery. Ooh. Unaware of his intentions and fearful of getting hurt in another relationship, Jenna vows to re resist his charms, but begins to realise his affection is real as the two spend more time together. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was real. Oh, okay, I'm done. You got five out of nine, right? Really? How well do you actually know the story of Jesus' birth? Well, you see, I've been going to Catholic school for pretty much my whole life, and now I go to Anglican one, so... Hopefully I know a lot. How many wise men visited Jesus? Three. Oh, but is this a trick question? We actually don't know. The Bible doesn't specify a number. In which city was Jesus born? Oh god. Bethlehem. Yeah. What word does the Bible use to describe the place of Jesus' birth? Stable? Manger? 
god, I don't know. Manger. Which animals were present at Jesus' birth? Um, I'm gonna go via my, my nativity scene here in this house. So we're gonna say oxen, oxen, sheep, and donkeys. It doesn't mention any, rightio. Which gospel makes no mention of Jesus' birth? Oh no, I did this in CD extension. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Um, was it Matthew? I think it was Matthew or Mark. Matthew, Matthew. Mark, damn it. <laughs> True or false, Mary and Joseph were not married when Jesus was born. I think they were. Mm. Complete Matthew, chapter 1, verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Blech, which being interpreted is God with us. Israel. Yeah, Israel? Since when has it been a manual? <laughs> which angel told Mary that she would give birth to Jesus? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was Gabriel. Uh. Where did Mary, Joseph, and Jesus go to escape King Herod's wrath? Um, Galilee. I think it's Judea. Oh, it's Egypt. What? No. The star of Bethlehem guided which of the following to see Jesus? It was all of them. It was the shepherd and the wise men. Only the wise men. So, I might be a bit of a disgrace. <laughs> to my religion. We know which region of the USA you live in based on your Christmas preferences. Now, obviously I don't live in the USA, but hey, maybe this will tell me where I should live in the USA. Choose some Christmas pajamas. I guess these are cute. Choose a Christmas movie. Oh, come on, you guys already know my answer. Oh, but, oh, National Lampoons. Uh, I'm a big girl now. Choose a Christmas gift. For me? For me, I would like clothes, you know? You never have enough leggings. Choose a Christmas episode, excuse me? Okay, I'm just gonna choose based on the TV show. <gasps> Spongebob, of course. Choose a Starbucks holiday drink. Ooh, caramel brulee, ooh, yum. Eggnog, yes. Yeah. Gingerbread, no. Peppermint. <gasps> oh, I've had, I've had peppermint hot chocolate before. That was really nice. Peppermint mocha, even though I don't know what a mocha is, but let's just do it. Choose a Christmas tree. We'll go for that one. You got New England. Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. Are those good places? I don't know. Well, that was um interesting. I hope you guys liked that. Uh, I actually really enjoy doing quizzes. I don't know why, they're just really fun. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions. Um, I always reply, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in one of the previous videos or one of the next ones. It depends. Don't forget to have a very Merry Christmas. And yeah, bye.